Hey everybody, Captain Tommy Scoville and Squirrel here on the lifeboat. How are ya? Um, boy, oh boy, this is um, this is something, right? Here we are. Um, if the uh, thumbnail looked familiar, it's because I just used it again. But we knew that this was going to happen, didn't we? Uh, and I mean, I'm not Nostradamus. I think the entire world knew this was going to happen. Uh, and I think that people knew that it was probably going to happen in 2024. This guy uh, seems to be worse than uh, than R. Kelly. This guy seems to be really on par with uh, Phoenix Rising 44 says, Hey, everyone, I normally lurk on the boat, so it's time to say hello and hope we are happy and healthy. You know what? I love that. Now, seventh says Prince Harry evidently has been linked to, right? This cat's been linked to. That's a really important thing uh, that Seventh Son said. All right, I'll tell you why Steve's on the money with this. Because as this guy is Epstein, I'm telling you people, we're going to find out this cat's Epstein. He's Epstein. And you know what? There's people have been talking. It's another one of those situations too, man. Um, you know, like, like what's that guy, Brian Singer, you know, this cat, it's another one we're going to have to be talking about soon. It's, it's people that for so freaking long have just been out in the world. Everybody seems to know what's going on, right? This Brian Singer guy, the family guy's been making jokes about the dude for years. Literally, if if what you're doing is so well known that there are cracking jokes about it, then there's an issue. Hey, I'm really happy to hear that. And I'm glad that you're coming up to, to pop your head up and say hello. That's an important thing. Boston girl lurker. Hi, Tommy. Feeling better since you returned. You're my main man. Thank you. Thank you means a lot to me. It really does. And I'm sure that Squirrel, he's really happy to be back on the air. Midnight show. There she is. What's happening, girl? How are you, my friend? Tampa B, good to see you. Lady E, what's happening? Davey? A seventh. I think you're on the money, man. I really do. And I think we're going to see a lot of people that are tied to him. And they're not going to be tied to him I think we're going to see people tied to him in a different kind of way. I think we're going to see a lot of people who he's got dirt on. I think he's probably, this is my opinion, man. My opinion is that uh, this guy rose through the ranks really, really quickly by, by having a lot of dirt on a lot of people. Straight up. Uh, which is how Epstein did it, right? We, uh, we're not exactly sure how Epstein got uh, his money. It's a little bit more obvious with uh, with Puffy, but um, dirt attracts more dirt, right? No question. No question. But I think what we're gonna what we're gonna see in this thing as this plays out is there are a horrific amount of victims in this for real. People who ended up. I mean, his, uh, the girl um, who sued about what, two months ago, maybe three months ago, when he had to settle with, uh, with uh, Cassie, Casey, Cassie, Casey, whatever. The, uh, again, you get these artists, these entertainers, these people who have been doing this foul crap forever. And the whole world seems to know. Uh, and it's, it's just getting to the point. And you know the crazy thing, people? I'm not joking. You know what's killing these people? This stuff right here. These puppies are taking people out. Because where you might have somebody that's got a billion dollars with a B, a person with a billion dollars, you can start swaying things like the, the fifth estate, Right? The press, the press, that entity of the press, the paparazzi, whatever. Well, you got enough cash. 
it's pretty amazing what you can make happen or not happen until this stuff starts going on until you get these creators who are like i am a minuscule creator but there are there are good size creators you know say 250,000 300,000 subscribers up to the big dogs you know with uh, 2 and 3 million or 4 million but everybody's talking about this there's nobody not talking about this and that's when the trouble starts <laughs> when when the entire world begins to talk about you you can't control it anymore i'm telling you man hey castro thoughts and prayers with you i'm really glad that you're here with us too i mean that I mean that. Um, now, Simon says he may have flown to Epstein's sex island. You know, the, uh, yeah, they very well could have, to be sure. Uh, there have been, and let me go on the record right now and saying that I do not care what this dude's uh, preferences are. I really don't. You know, if you, uh, if you like men or if you like women or women or if you like um, a combination of the uh, two, I don't much care. As long as everybody is consenting and of legal age and there is where the problem uh, is. Uh, this dude, uh, this dude is being accused of some really, really heinous stuff. And you know what? You can get accused of heinous stuff that you didn't do. It happens. And it happens a lot to very, very wealthy people. It does. Um, but I think this was the truth for a really long time, Tampa B. I think this was the truth for a really long time. I think that there were people who are untouchable. I don't know that I believe that anymore. I do not know that I believe that anymore. I think we're getting to a point in, uh, I think we're getting to a point again, not because of not because of the big dogs, but because of the little dogs, because of people like us. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, people. Um, 50 cents, fantastic. All right, you know what? Uh, 50 cents is fantastic. Tampa B, you're right. You're absolutely right. And this is a great example. Oh, and a good one for your argument, spot on, for real. If we're if we're debating whether or not there are, there are groups too big to take down, this is a pretty good argument because um, it feels to a lot of us like the LA cops have been uh, corrupt forever, right? Right. I think that I think that it feels like the LA cops have been corrupt forever, and and they have. If you uh, there are some books that were written on uh, the corruption that were in the uh, the Rampart Division that were absolutely horrific. Just horrible, horrible stuff. Rampart was one of the most crooked and then, I mean, and violent to, uh, to people that are arrested, racist debate crap. The thing is, the L.A. cops, I mean, there are, L.A. is so spread out, but it seems to me that there are pockets of corruption at all times. It does seem like there are pockets of corruption at all times. Um, absolutely a fantastic point. Henny, let's keep this one real. Well, let's let's be uh let's give credit where credit is due. Cat Williams, who caught a lot of crap for a lot of the stuff that he said a long time ago. Do you know how long Cat Williams has been on this? For real. And a lot of people, a lot of people used to laugh at him. And, and he would catch a lot of crap because he was willing to say stuff before anybody seemed to be willing to say stuff. And 50 cents the same way. But uh, I agree. I, I like Cat. You either like him or you hate him. I happen to, uh, I happen to, uh, to like him. Um, I do believe, yes, Lady E, um, their time is uh, ending faster than they think. And you know what? Tampa B seems to agree, which which makes me a little bit happy. It really does. Because, and this is it. It's the social media thing. It's the social media thing. You, you no longer can control the narrative. You can't. You can't control the narrative. And you know, it, Kat's a great example. 
whether you whether you hate cat or whether you dig cat, the fact that um, the fact that so many people know who he is, right? Um, as we're sitting here talking about cat, everybody knows who I'm talking about, right? And he has gotten his point out. Whether you agree with this point or whether you disagree with this point, he has gotten his point out, right? I happen to think that he was calling, uh, he was predicting things long, long before they uh, they were happening. And there's a real prophetic piece that he did uh, where he says 2024, 2024 is the year that all of them, all these predators, all of these people that have been doing this, 2024 is the year that they are all going to drop. And the way he said it, uh, but again, so I was talking about the Diddy Raid earlier. If you didn't catch my uh, earlier lifeboat, I was talking about the Diddy Raid. Uh, I've been raided by the feds, sadly, I have. And they come deep. They really do. When they raided me, they were coming in because they thought there were guns, right? That's, I mean, li- the only reason they were coming in the house was because they thought that there was a lot of guns there. And they came with so many officers, it was incredible. But to see what they did, a Franklin MC, good to see you. To see what they did uh, at Diddy's place and to be doing that on both coasts at the exact same time is a, uh, that's a heavy duty thing. That is a heavy duty thing. And my gut tells me maybe, uh, maybe this will, you know, who knows? But my gut says they were in there. Uh, they were in there to get the tapes. They were in there to get media. They're in there to raid that place to get media. They're in there looking for, he's recording a lot of stuff. That's my opinion. He's got a lot of people uh, in the act, right, of doing what they're doing, and they're being recorded in the process. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to get a look at that paw. Everybody see that paw? There we go. Tell me that's just not nicer. Don't you, don't you like the kitty rotation so you get the, the paw? And on the bright side, she is a consummate professional. If you notice, the head stays perfectly in there. Up, oh, tucking it in. She's a pro. An absolute pro. And uh, the funny thing is, you will hear um, about that little uh, that little dog who, for whatever reason, um, uh, she's, she's pretty fond of. Uh-oh. Squirrel knows that the someone is home. Did you see that uh, on the cat cam? The second, uh, the second that squirrel hears a uh, a garage door, a front door. Um, oh, that's a great one, Lisa Ricks. It really is. Um, how many elites are needing this covered? By the way, thank you, Spanx Calhoun, for putting uh, squirrel nut zipper in her pop in her proper place. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean that in a, in a, in a positive way. The uh, kitty clock. Foot paw. Yeah. You know what, Lady E? I'll tell you something. No joke at all, right? No joke at all. The, I've said before that the audience on the boat, for real, we have an awful lot of... Um, we got an awful lot of pretty sharp cats uh, on the boat, cats and kittens on the boat, right? The fact his streamliner left for the island without P. Diddy could indicate that most of the evidence might be on the plane on the island. Moved crucial evidence first. You know what, Lady E? I think that that's pretty darn slick. I really do. Now, my understanding is, though, uh, that the plane's impounded. Like when that hit the ground... I, I, they were ready for this. They were absolutely ready for this. Wherever that jet went, nothing got off that jet. Um, they're the feds. I'm telling you, people, it's the scariest crap in the whole world. Take this from somebody that when when they don't, they they tie up loose ends. <laughs> they're they're excellent at covering bases, and I mean virtually every one of them. Right. Uh, by the time they make the decision that they're raiding those two properties. They're looking at everybody in his family. They're they are watching places where other people live. Right? They probably have been scoping the place out. There was 
an absolute rhyme or reason to the time of the day, to the to day of the week. The feds don't fart around and they're really, really good at this. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is terrifying if you think about how many officers that they have. And this team is supposed to be even more elite. This is supposed to be sort of uh, handpicked from the best of the best, right? Um, the uh, This is the Homeland Security Investigative Division. And these are supposed to be, supposedly, uh, some real badasses, right? I think uh, I think Walker, Texas Ranger, kind of uh, kind of tough. I don't think I'm over the top with that. You know that I I, uh, I in in my head I see them rolling in there pretty viciously. You know what I mean? You know what Tampa B? You you may not believe this, but uh, I'm uh, I really missed doing this. I really really miss uh, missed doing this. Um, I got an awful lot done, which is, um, well, you know, uh, you know what, Lady E, this would be a really interesting question for, um, and thank you, by the way, Tampa B, for your uh, never-ending support <laughs> in so many ways, for your never-ending support. Uh, the, the Reds, the Feds have a higher than a 90% conviction rate. Actually, Catalina, but you're 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 right. Their their conviction rate is ridiculous. They don't lose. They do not lose. The feds are are really good at it. And if you think about it, it's the largest private investigative firm in the world. They call it the FBI, the DEA, right? All of those people are all part of it. And then the largest law firm in the world would be the Department of Justice. Right? Every single lawyer in the DOJ. I mean, you're not getting that kind of help. Well, if you need to ask somebody a question in a different state, you've got an investigative firm in that state. You've got a lawyer, you know, lawyers in that state. How do you fight that? <laughs> I don't care if you're a billionaire. How do you fight that? They have unlimited resources all over the world. Really, really hard. Um, I don't, you would have to ask a lawyer this lady, right? Because this is a great question. I don't know that they need any kind of extradition treaty to grab that plane, right? To snatch that plane off the runway, I don't think they need a whole lot of anything. To take a human being would be a lot different. But I have a feeling that the that the U.S. would uh, would be pretty bold about going in there and snatching that plane, or at least taking possession of the stuff on it. And I think that most island states uh, get a crap load of help from uh, from the U.S. You know what I mean? We throw money around for reasons. We really do. Um, and I have a feeling that, you know, so the, here's the, here's the $5 million question. So he was spotted at the airport, right? Um, yes, you caught a live O'Neill and we are glad that you're here. Where is Sean now? Hard to tell, but uh, TMZ had a picture of him at the, uh, at the airport. Um, but that, uh, was not at the airport trying to leave the country. So wherever he is, and they had said at one point he had been detained. That did not mean that he had been charged or anything else. Uh, very often, you know, they can you can be detained while they're still going through all your stuff because they don't want you going to wherever you're going. Um, but I don't think, I, I think that there's a lot of really bad stuff in uh, Sean uh, Combs' future. And you know something else? You know what? I'm going to say it again. I, I just think I got a really great audience. I think they're pretty intelligent. And you know what? I kind of like that. I'm not calling that either. Um, he is, he's Sean the Creep. I, I, I like that. I'm not calling him Diddy either. I mean, all is that ridiculous crap anyway. Uh, whatever the hell he is. He changed his name a lot, didn't he? Um, but let's 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 just throw out every single rumor that we all know, right? Uh, you can't land a plane like parking a car at Walmart. <laughs> they knew he was coming. The authorities were on the plane uh, the moment it landed, to be sure. Wow. Cuba Gooding Jr. added to sexual assault lawsuit against Sean Combs. Wow. You know what, people? Um, yeah. And, that's, and that is on mainstream media. That's on mainstream media. This is going to blow up, people. And I... 
I hate to say, but this is Epstein all over again. And you're going to see a bunch of people whose names get tied to this cat, to really weird parties where really bad stuff was happening. I think, I think it was a template. I'm not joking. I think it worked once and then it worked twice. And you know what? I will be, I will run on here. I will run on here and say, uh, you know what? I was wrong. Yes. Thank you, Henny. Right? You remember the uh, the flavor camp? He's going to Diddy Camp. Flavor Camp to learn. Right? This was Justin Bieber. This was uh, Usher. Flavor Camp. Uh, they got sent there, what, 13 and 14? Somewhere in there? Early teens. Early teens. And the rumors have been around forever. And there are disturbing videos. You've, you've, you've seen them. Most of you have. Sling Blade, good to see you. He's the Epstein of the hip-hop world, says Sling Blade, who, by the way, is spot on. Yeah. Don't you go back to lurking. Uh, higher than 90%. It's uh, Yeah, absolutely. It's higher than 90%. Somebody Google that for me, but it is ludicrous how high it is. Guys in the feds lie about it because they'll go, it's 99, but it's really high. I don't remember what it is, but it's ridiculously high. Subi, good to see you. I haven't, haven't seen you in a minute. That's my fault. I mean, I've been gone. But, uh, why do we think Diddy is in Antigua now? Uh, we don't, but we think his plane is there. We do not think he is there. Uh, we think his plane is there. Uh, according to TMZ, and I'll be really honest with you. I will defer to TMZ most times. Uh, there's a couple of other sources that I rely on. But TMZ you know, isn't going to offend anybody. If I tell any of the other sources I rely on, you'll be like, oh, he leans this way or that way. Did you like that invitation there? Johnny Scoble, how about that invitation? Very good. Very good. He leans this way, he leans that way. <clears throat> It's bloody amazing how long it takes to get the, the super rich. The common man would be in jail a long time ago. Boy, you know what? Uh, there is a lot of truth to that. There is an awful lot of truth All right. to that. You may want to read this. This is uh, it just, it just went down, though, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? Fire that thing. You got a mic. Okay. Well, when you get it back, let me know. Well, that's not good. I think I think I may have just watched Joni's computer explode. No, yeah. Did you get it figured yeah. out? This is they just arrested his drug mule. Here, I'll oh. it up so you can see it better. Just read that for me, Johnny Scoble. Okay, yeah, this is it. on TMZ. Diddy's alleged drug mule, as described in a recent lawsuit, was arrested Monday while Diddy and his crew were stopped by federal law enforcement agents. TMZ has confirmed. According to the affidavit obtained by TMZ, 25-year-old Brendan Paul was booked on two separate drug charges after the feds intercepted Diddy's plane at Opelika Airport in Miami, namely one count of possession of suspected cocaine and another of suspected marijuana, candy, both of which are felonies in Florida. In the paperwork, officers claimed that while they were working in conjunction with Homeland Security and Customs, and Border Patrol personnel, they came across what they described as suspected drugs in Paul's travel bags, and they say that he claimed them. He was literally his mule. That's well, his job. Well, you know what? I mean, if, you, if you're a billionaire and, uh, and you're doing the things that that cat does, you absolutely need a, uh, oh, goodness. Four. Yeah. You know what? Wait till you see Sean the Creep's mule. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? No, we're not going to put it up here. But yeah, no. You'll see it. You'll yeah. see it on TMZ. I don't, honestly, I almost go the uh, the, the EIB uh, method. I hate to say that, but that for real. Uh, I could tell you about it. Uh, you don't need to see it. Question. Uh, what did uh, what did he allegedly do? Okay, what he allegedly has done. Um, here's here's my uh, 
here's my hypothesis. Uh, you're right. TMZ pays an awful lot for their dirt. To be sure, they pay an awful lot for their dirt. Uh, you hear about it all the time when you're in the feds. Cops are, are they're always hoping that they're going to be the first person to catch a, a photo of something or, or get some info that no one else knows because they pay stupid money for it. Uh, and they usually do have the scoop. Now, um, you know, I'm all about the allegedly thing too. Here's here's my, my prediction. And I've been saying it. This guy is, is uh, another Jeffrey Epstein. This dude's been doing very bad things to people for a long time. And uh, he's, yeah, this is the tip of the iceberg. We're going to see a very, very, very ugly, uh, awful thing. Now, yeah, you know what? Tampa B says uh, really needs to wake us people who idolize the famous. Uh, it's wake up people. Yeah, it's, we do that a lot in this country, right? It, it, we don't have royalty. There are places in the world where there where there is royalty, and in the good old U.S. of A., um, we have we have famous people, right? And uh, you're right, Sling Blade. I believe this to be one hundred percent true, and I believe that this is going to be very very Epstein like. You know what, O'Neill? Very, very interesting. Very interesting. O'Neill says, don't know if this has been discussed, but I uh, couldn't imagine him offed the way Epstein was. Uh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. The uh, It's going to be uh, it's going to be odd to see uh, it's going to be odd to see what happens, how far this goes. I mean, as of right now, we, uh, we don't even know there, there has not been to the best of everybody's knowledge, as of this moment, they've not arrested him, right? Um, but they did arrest uh, Junior, his little drug mule. Why do you get a look at this kid? He uh, he looks like a very, very, very young boy. He looks he look he could pass for sixteen to seventeen. Uh, you'll see him on the TMZ website to be sure. Hey, Cinderella's glass slipper. What's happening, Kestrel? Well said. And make no mistake, a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of famous cats are going to get linked to this. This is going to be something that is going to be another big one. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen in 2024. Cat Williams, right? What's up, cat? <laughs> well played. Well played, cat. <laughs> Correct. You know what? Kessel, you ever done any time? <laughs> hey, Kessel, you ever been arrested? Kessel says they want to turn their witnesses before they arrest Sean. Huh? <laughs> Spot the hell on. Right? Or maybe you're on the other side of the equation. No disrespect, right? You might have been doing the arrest then. I'm sorry. I... I my head went. My head went to the wrong side of that equation instantly. My bad. My bad. More than likely, you know. Um, Phoenix rising, right? Didn't see that coming, did you? Hold on. Can I do the home alone face? All right. Shocked. Yeah. Right. Here come the names. Catalina, bring them. You guys, you bring them. Throw those names up there. Because I'm not right. I'm saying nothing. Throw those names up. Cinderella's glass slippers got a couple more. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not going to lie to you. I like this. I like this. I got gotcha. you. Look at that. We're cooking. Yeah, another Epstein. Another Epstein. Yep. Uh, and not for nothing. But we've been saying this for a, a, a hot minute. You know what? This is... Uh, Wow. You know what, man? Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Here's it. And I'll tell you something. Don't, don't anybody, 
everybody's got an opinion on it. And I love this. I really do. Because I think it's well thought out if you want to know the truth. If they're going to go after, uh, you know, Sean the low life, then all roads should lead back to the music mogul, Clive Owens. Uh, the death of Kim Porter and Whitney. Beautiful, poor, beautiful Whitney Houston while the Grammys were going on. You know something? I'll tell you something about Whitney's death. That was just, I don't know what happened. I don't know that anyone knows what happened. I always thought it seemed to me, and I, every time I say this, people go, what's the benefit? The benefit is, you know, a lot of times when an, uh, an artist dies, if things aren't set up well, the family, oh, no, one second, the, the family doesn't always get the same setup. If it, or the uh, what happens after the artist's uh, death, a lot of times it can be very beneficial to the labels. And I'm not saying that that's the case here. I'm just saying that this is not a bad uh, theory and one worthy of discussion. Uh, interesting. Bobby Brown knows what happens. Well, what happened, rather? Tampa B says, I feel bad about Whitney's death. I'm going to tell you something. Me too. Me too. I remember, what, what was that, for the song... Don't you want to dance? Do you remember the video of that? Woo! She come out and do that. No, uh, she was just absolutely one of the most beautiful uh, people I ever saw on earth. I mean, she just was absolutely beautiful and had a voice like an angel, you know. And uh, and if there's never, there's never been. Uh, yeah, she had a voice like an angel. She really did. That was just one of those uh, individuals that I could uh, I could listen to for uh, for hours on end. She had, I mean, pipes. I heard uh, Billy Joel tells a story in his in, in uh, a, a book that uh, a biography. He worked with a, another uh, writer on it, but he had. I think he was he. He was on a, an island with one of the supermodels he was dating. It might have been Elle McPherson. It was somebody before Christy Brinkley. But he said uh, there was a piano downstairs and he was playing. And they said, listen, you got to hear this girl sing. And uh, he, he said he was in a hurry. They said, you know, and had an opportunity to sit down uh, downstairs and listen. He said, if I was not in such a hurry to run upstairs with the supermodel, I probably would have discovered her. It's in his book, he said, but he was really in a hurry to get upstairs. It is uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know what? I think this is important to be noted. I'm not being funny. I really think this is important to be noted, right? Because how many people at that friggin' award ceremony knew what a piece of crap he is? Huh? Let me tell you something. Family Guy creator, Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane clowns on these people in the world outs them before anybody and nobody goes after him if you hear somebody out in somebody and then that person's not getting sued trust and believe right especially big name people i mean you know i want to talk tra trash about you what are you going to do sue me for what you know but these massive you know i watched him go out long before um the uh, weinstein thing broke he was reading at the academy awards he was a presenter and the next award was for uh best female actor in a uh you know in a major motion picture and he said uh or otherwise known as something to the effect i'm paraphrasing as a girl who will never have to pretend that harvey weinstein is attractive ever again and there was a, a lot of uh, uncomfortable you know laughter or whatever Everybody in that room, everybody in that room knew what the hell that meant. Right? What does that tell you about Hollywood? Everybody in that room knew what was going on with that piece of crap. But this is, uh, yeah, that the whole freaking industry is dark and messed up, to be sure. It is just awful. Thank you, Finding Dory. Appreciate you. Mustang Sally. You have to be kidding. Why don't you lay down, Mustang? Yeah. Good to see you, Brazy. Sandra Ferguson, glad you're here. I really am. Ricky Gervais drags celebrities on, uh, on award stages. Absolutely. Absolutely. He is, I think he's refreshing. I know a lot of people don't like him. I love it. 
I love it when he goes out there. When he started picking on him and he, he dropped the uh, the Weinstein joke and people started to boo and he went, what? He was your friend. Don't boo me. He was your friend. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have him back. But boy, oh boy, I love the way he went out. I love it, man. For real. It felt like a Tommy rant, except he has talent. <laughs> really? Reach out. Send me an email. Send me an email. I'd love to hear that. For real. I'd love to hear that. It's the sickest place in the world. It really is. Yeah, reach out. Send me an email. I'd love to hear. I would really love to hear those. I really would. And I bet the world would. Let's get you on here. Let's tell some stories. Let's get you on a boat and talk about them. And if you don't want to do that, at least tell me. Reach out to me. Debbie P says, Bobby Brown is not my kind of music. However, Whitney started doing uh, uh, so way before. Oh, blow. Yeah. Way before she met Bobby. Uh, and that is per Whitney's brother. I believe that. Um, pardon me. I wholeheartedly believe that she was doing that long before um, any of that was going on. However, I'm not sure she was rocking it up. Right. It's like anything else. Uh I am, you know something, Lady E? Do you know what causes this sinus stuff? Suboxone. It has since the very first day I started doing it. I am, I am almost perpetually uh, have nose problems. My nose just runs, or it's it's stuffed up. It's always one or the other. It just doesn't ever seem to uh, to to work itself out. But um, uh, the trade off. Oh, no way. Kestrel, now I have to talk to you. Because I, I know who the actor is, too. An actress. I, I know who the actress is. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Wow, that's fascinating. Fascinating. Big fan of the show she was on, too. I used to watch it all the time when I could still watch show shows. That was one. Uh, yeah, I used to watch the shows all the time. Yeah, Ricky was huge. People, pay attention to this Diddy thing. Pay attention to this Diddy thing. And just know that I'm not joking. We've been saying for a very long time, this is the next uh, This is the next Epstein. Uh, and, uh, but I think in a slight, you know, I think in a slightly different way, but I know that he's got a lot. There's a lot of dirt on a lot of people. I don't know if, if it's one of those situations where I don't know if, if, if he was doing the same kind of thing that, um, that Epstein was doing exactly. Uh, I don't know. You, you understand? I, I think Epstein was bringing in dirt bags to enjoy what he was doing and then filming those people. I'm not sure if that's the exact same thing that was going on, but I think he was filming people, you know, I think he was filming people and I think he was using that stuff, either getting paid straight out or he was using it as blackmail leverage to do what he does. Um, you know what V bombs? This is a great freaking point. I'm sorry. This is a great point. You just got an arrest that he got arrested, got an alert rather, or didn't get arrested. Is that a, is that a, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a an autocorrect. It's good to know they're going after creeps in society. It is. It's good to know that they're going after the powerful creeps in society because this guy's a dirtbag, but he's a billionaire dirtbag. Uh, or at least he likes to claim he is. I did a little research last night and I think 880 there is one place that claims 1.2 uh, billion. However, there are places that claim Johnny Scoville is worth 20 million at this point. 19.6. What's that? 19.6, actually. Oh, not, you're up to 19.6? Yeah. Congratulations. Well, I can't even get the 20 bucks you have. Uh, do I think, wow, you know what? You know what? You know what? 
I am going to let, I honestly, Knight Rider, I, I don't know that I've ever tried that. Isn't that terrible? That's a heck of a guess, Phoenix. Uh, do you think Jay-Z and Beyonce are involved? Their names have been rumored in this for years. Yes, they sure have been, haven't they? They have been uh, rumored in this for years. Have they not? For years. Uh, Tracy, good one. Right, who's above them? Oprah? No, no, there's a... They both went to Jeff's Island, correct? Hey, uh, yep. Just so everyone knows, this is a message from Homeland Security. New York executed law enforcement agent actions. Uh, hold on. Uh, Homeland Security uh, investigations. New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from SHI, Los Angeles, uh, HSI, Miami, and the local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. If they so, no one they did not say whether they've arrested, which means they didn't. Yeah, he's not been arrested. Odd though, isn't it? Odd though, isn't it? Does seem to have. It, does seem to have worked out, right? That um, and and people have been saying for years, right? That how long have people have been talking about um, unspeakable wealth comes with an <laughs> an initial blindfold? Yeah, uh, I think that uh, I think this is the year that a lot of people, a lot of people. Um, Interesting. Sorry. You know what? How is how have his children not been taken from him? Because he's a billionaire. Because the neighborhood he lives in, right? That this the funniest thing I saw. The 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 mainstream media goes out and tries to uh, to interview people in his neighborhood right because obviously you see this big raid it's one more point of interest and the longer they can keep you on the more commercials they can sell you know the drill so they're going to talk to a couple of neighbors and the, the first one they talk to says uh do we really need this many uh officers honestly what do they think is going on in there right all of these homes are worth 50 million dollars a piece the man said all of his neighbors paid $50 million a piece for their homes. We don't want this here. And do you think bad stuff is going on? Like, like to him, the fact that this was a $50 million home meant number one, you got no right bringing your laws to us. I mean, if you could have seen the entitlement, go look it up. It's fantastic. I think if you Google uh, neighbors interview, you'll get it. Plumber, horseradish, and capsaicin. You know what? Chicka, chicka, cola. Right. For, for real. What am I doing? Is this open? No, there's got to be some capsaicin. Actually, just makes a heck of a lot of sense. Check this out. Oh, yeah. What's that? Yes, they are. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know that it's not Epstein level yet. And that, folks, is how you clean out sinuses. Um, I think it is Epstein level. If you want to know the truth, I think it is. Um, what it comes down to is these people throw money around. Yeah. Cuba Gooding Jr. has been added in a lawsuit. Yeah, I saw that. You, th yeah, you know what, Don? I think it is too. I think when this thing all fire fires out, we're going to see that the tentacles of this Epstein Epstein threw a lot around, around a lot of money and there were politicians involved. That was that this goes into fashion. This goes into music. This goes into politics. Watch where all of this money ends up. Uh, all of the people that you're going to see tied into this are going to get really weird. Hey, 
Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Epstein, I think, had a lot more warning. Right? I think that uh, I think that Diddy uh, has felt bulletproof for a really long time. And the fact that they hit, wow, is that hot. The fact that they hit the East and West Coast at the exact same time to me screams that they knew what they were going for. The fact that they had the plane uh, ready to be seized with the drug kit on it. I, I really wholeheartedly believe that they know what they were going in there uh, looking for. J9, thank you. You know something? This is I wrote this in my journal six times. Sassy Savage. There are a lot of people who start talking about, um, you know, th these groups of people that may or may not exist, like the Illuminati. Um, I think that there are definitely power groups of people that are doing really messed up things for fun. I don't think they care a great deal about um, the common man. Uh, and I think that I think Diddy is going to make Epstein look like an amateur. I agree. I agree. Um, and you're bulletproof. Woo! Until you're not. Miss D says, my skin crawls. You know what? If it didn't, there probably would be something wrong with you. Gary Glitter is awful. All of them. It, but like, look, Brian Singer. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing some stuff on Brian Singer here. This is blowing up. It's gonna be twenty twenty four is the year. But you know what? Brian Singer's been victimizing people. The Nickelodeon stuff. Are you seeing this? I am Tommy Scoville, Rocket Queen. I am Johnny Scoville's little brother, for real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, I am Johnny Scoville's little brother, like it or not. But we're going to, uh, I'm going to continue to follow this. I said, I don't remember how long ago I did it the first time. I really don't. I know that about three months ago we did one. I know I did one when I was still in Nevada. So that's a hot minute ago. I don't remember exactly how long, but it's got to be closing in on a year. Lady E, I wish that you were wrong. I wish that you were wrong. Midnight Show says, Mad Cow do make great snacks. You really... She Those did... Aren't mad cow. Those are bull cow. Uncle Bull Cow. Big difference is bad and bull. Yeah, Uncle Bull Cow is, is vicious. Now, another example. Nickelodeon stuff has been known about for a long while, it seems. Seen videos from uh, Blame It On George about it. But right now, it's blowing the hell up. We're finding out about people who got, who got uh, you know, had abortions paid for. Lives that were ruined. You know, we're really getting an idea of just how ugly this is. So uh, I have been out of town for uh, the better part of four or five days um, getting this, uh, our protein stuff done. And it is. And uh, I, there are going to be a lot of Jane those, Tina. There are going to be a lot of Jane those. And you know what? I'll tell you what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the John Doe's. I think that the I think we're getting really good at being there for the Jane Doe's. I think we're getting better at it. I don't think we're good at it. I think we're getting better at it. I think there are people who are saying, 
um, enough is enough, right? I think that uh, I think that people are stuck, but the John Doe's are going to be, uh, this is going to be harder for them because there is just a psychological thing and society doesn't get it, that it is the exact same thing, right? It's the exact same thing. It is the, it's the same trauma. It's the same, it's horrific. Both in, in both cases, we need to be there and we need to treat them in the same way, right? They're victims, you know? Always. And you know what? And if it's an older woman and a younger boy, that's a victim. You know how often we, uh, we how many times you see the, uh, the school teacher that's a 26-year-old blonde girl and she's got a 16-year-old kid and everyone's going, oh, that kid had a maid. I wish that was me in high school, right? It's, uh, we, we need to come a long way as a society, in my humble opinion. For real, those people are victims too. And then sometimes, you know, it just, it starts a cycle. And here you go, Whitney says, do you think Dan Schneider and Brian Singer were possibly victimized as children and they're just perpetuating the cycle? Yeah, I think that there's an excellent chance that that, that, that happened. Um, very often that's the case. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, there was, there was some horrific stuff in the UK to be sure. We don't own the, we don't own the rights over here. We don't own the rights over here. Like Mary Kay Letourneau, right? Picture this for a second. Um, what's the movie with Adam Sandler? What's the movie with Adam Sandler where he plays, uh, he basically plays the the kid to a Mary Kay Letourneau. Uh, well, there's a movie that, um, there is a movie uh, where they have a Mary Kay Letourneau kind of a, a woman who gets put in jail and their love child is played by a guy that uh, used to be on, uh, no, not Billy Madison. This is literally about a high school tryst between a hot teacher played by Susan Sarandon and the younger student played by Billy Madison, the guy that, uh, what's his name? Um, not Waterboy. Uh, That's my boy. It's called Big Daddy. Is that what it's called? I think Big Daddy might be it. Um, in it is uh, Vanilla Ice. Or That's My Boy. That might be the name of it. That's My Boy. Yeah, that's my boy. That's the name of it. That's my boy. Thank you very much, Winnie. I want you to throw that around for a second. Can you imagine if the shoe was on the other foot? Would they ever make that movie? It's not going to age well, in my opinion. It's not going to age well. But I don't think they would have made it if the shoe was on the other foot, right? Um, it wouldn't be very funny if the uh, teacher that was in jail was a guy. Right. And uh, the love child had come from from a, a young one. It's uh, poor Russia. I agree with you, Sassy. I think that there, I think that we're going to need to be very um, we're going to be very kind to the uh, John and the uh, Jane Doe's in this one because I think there's going to be a grip of them. <laughs> Valerie says they'd make it a movie, but it wouldn't be a comedy. You're right. All right, people. Uh, we're gonna cut. Well, I'm not gonna get off of this one. I promise. Um, we're gonna stick with this one, and uh, we're gonna ride it to the end. I'm Captain Tommy Scoville, and that right there, that that's a cat in a basket. And uh, I'm gonna see you all on the next one. And Tampa B, thanks again for the support. Much love. God bless.